Hello, I'm Sam Oshroff. I'm with the University of Washington. Hi, I'm Kirk Jones uh, with Avaya, Director of uh, UC Applications. We're here today to talk about a new feature recently introduced this year to the IAG site, the Feature Request Tracker. Uh, it is a collaborative effort between IAG members and Avaya. Yep. And I think it was born out of the frustration of what process again was it, Sam? Well, the grip request, it seemed like a frustrating process for me as an end customer. Um, I might submit a grip request, not really know where it went, not really know if there was any other interest in it. Um, so I, there was this novel idea that we would engage the community, um, put together a site where uh, the community could submit uh, enhancements to the products. Yeah. They could comment on their submissions. Um, they could upvote those submissions to show their interest in those products. They could vote on them. Yep, they could vote on them. Yeah. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it also meant that uh, submissions could be potentially turned away from being submitted to Avaya if there was an alternative way of doing that. Uh, in some cases, we've seen submissions where uh, the feature is already present in a slightly newer yep. version of the software. Yep. So, um, so you have a bit of a layered approach is I think what we're, we're, we're trying to bring to the table. And again, this is new, it's novel, yep. right? Um, it's going to evolve and morph as we go. Uh, the intention, though, is, you know, uh, from the BU perspective, uh, I know representing uh, Kevin Shinchenki from the, you know, from the executive level, uh, we want to make sure that there's a really open dialogue with the customers, right? And IOG is obviously is, is, the, is the venue, right? That's mm -hmm. the vehicle that we can leverage. You're all part of the ecosystem. So we're right. just trying to build that bridge. Um, we've had a couple of reviews, if you want to say, or, or uh, things that have come at us. I'm, I'm hoping what the dialogue has been so far it's been it's i, I think i know the, the the i know talking with Paige and uh, chip and, and company the, the the feedback has been very positive definitely uh, not everybody gets what they're wanting but right but That's, it's it's it within reason but it, at least there's uh, i think the, i think the big thing that we're trying to aim for is closure definitely. so i would like this but maybe we can do it hey we've already or, done it or hey, you know what? That's a great idea. We're going to put that right. in the backlog. Or maybe right? the product's evolving in a different direction. Exactly. Et cetera. I, I think, um, uh, you know, I think the the idea of having community involvement and gives a lot of visibility to the process. Yep. Um, and maybe I should just take us, take the audience through the process really quick. Yeah. Um, so if you're an IAG member, you go to the website, you click on advocate feature requests. You can review any feature requests that are already there, submit feedback and comments on them, uh, upvote them. So if you like a feature, if you say, hey, that's a great feature, I'd kind of be interested in that too. You can uh, basically click the upvote button. Uh, if you have a new idea, you wanna submit that yourself, there's a place to submit the feature request. Uh, once a month, uh, a committee of IOG members, uh, skilled experts in various product lines get together and we review alongside Avaya all the new feature requests. Uh, we then sort of rank them on how many votes they got, what the community interest seems to be, submit those off to Avaya. We also solicit their feedback during each review process where we then update on the uh, site what the feedback has been. Has there been interest uh, from Avaya? Is there um, already there? Is it already, in a, you know, is already there? Great is idea. already in process, that kind yeah. of stuff. So it is a way to provide uh, community feedback for product enhancements and also give closure to that uh, that feedback, that request. That's the, I think that's really the intention is is to create the loop and the dialogue, right? Because I think the grip process, like you said, was a bit, it's still there. We're still using it, right? It's, it, it, has a, it has a purpose because it, it comes with a business value generally through the sales teams, right? right. So for an opportunity perspective. Um, but what we're really trying to do is open that door up to the community so that they have a dialogue with the folks that are sort of enabling the back end and, 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 and making sure that the, the conversation is had, good, bad, or indifferent. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. I want you guys, I want our customers to know that we're listening. We're really trying to change uh, what we're doing and how we're behaving. Uh, I know I've had, custom, I've had customers, I've had partners over the last year, uh, you know, really saying, hey, have I, you're really changing. You're listening to us. You know, yeah. uh, your engagement is incredible, right? So. It's actually really, it always reflects well on the, on the team uh, and you know, that, that, we're, that we're trying to make that change. So this is just another one of those steps. The key thing is, is this is evolving. Yep. And it is a, it, 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 the, the idea is it's going to organically evolve into something that hopefully both parties uh, feel is very valuable, right? Yeah. So initially the value has been, it's been, there've been some really cool ideas that have come out of the, the team so far. Uh, there's been some stuff that's like, well, 
yeah, well, that's, you know, it's not really sort of going to fit with the direction we're going strategically. I understand it. Um, but then, you know, you get closure. At least yeah. if, yeah, from a customer, it's like, okay, well, then I need to look at the next generation. Yeah. Right. I think one of the nice things uh, about how, how the site was put together was that as a submitter or a commenter or an upvoter is you automatically get subscribed to a weekly digest. Yep. So you really get the ability uh, as a community member to then track the submissions all the way through to that completion. Yep. And um, not just your own, but other people's uh, ideas and concepts as well. And um, I think it really gets the community more engaged and um, We've really built a great partnership with yep. Avaya on the feedback and... Um, oh, I, I know for myself personally, I know I'm, I'm super stoked and excited to have the dialogue. And I, and I again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow and, yep. and more, but I'm excited to have that dialogue with the customers. I, I have to listen to the customers. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's the only way we can make them successful. I need to understand where you guys are, where your pain points are. We had a conversation just, you know, immediately before we started this. And I was like, yes, we're, and guess what, Sam? I, I got a plan in place that's going to solve your problem, right? Excellent. So just a simple a simple little conversation like that. I, I'm hoping you're going to walk away from it. Go, okay, got it. Check. Okay, yep. I just need to wait for that to come into play, right? So now now you've, you've got you've got closure on the conversation, yep. right? Very good. Anyways. Um, I think that about wraps it that up. That wraps yeah. it up. I'm excited. So get your submissions in and, uh, you know, get it, get it through the, uh, the IUG. Very happy to be part of the team. Door is open. Thank you. Thank you. Sam, 